Oh, you think your mother can stand in the way? No, thank you. Oh, you're locked. She literally locked his mum outside of the house to save himself. She could not help but stand still and allow herself to be devoured. Did I just get raped? I mean, your brother's standing right there. What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be stealing somebody's wife in Skyrim. You guys already knew that I was an extreme savage, but in this video, I think we might go a little bit too far. But I want to tell you about something really cool, guys. YouTube, I've been waiting years for this. YouTube have finally added a membership to my channel. So you guys can actually join the membership on my channel which is just down below next to the subscribe button, this little blue icon that you can click. Basically, what that does, if you click on it, it tells you all the benefits you get for becoming a member of my channel. I'm going to be doing everything I already do, but for those of you supporting me financially with that button, you get some extra cool features. Firstly, you get early access to my videos. You also get some unique videos just for you guys, some behind the scenes stuff and funny content that usually I don't put into my stuff. A lot of things get edited out and I wanna share some of those funny clips with you or even some vlog style content of what I'm doing behind the scenes and some secret projects I'm working on. All of that stuff is gonna get shared if you become a member of the channel. To find that stuff, all you need to do is go onto my channel then go onto the community tab once you become a sponsor, that's where you will find that content. One of the things you can vote on right now is what mod list we're going to be working on next. This right now is what you can see behind me. This is the Skyrim mod list. This is completely free. You can already download the whole mod list as a whole tutorial, a beginner friendly guide on how to install this if you're completely new to modding so you can make your game look this awesome. You also get some other cool stuff like emotes that you can use in the live Twitch chat. There are some awesome emotes that I've made and I've got some more coming that I'm currently working on. Where does all this money go? It goes directly into supporting the channel. In fact, I'm actually employing somebody else come September, literally a month away and she's going to be helping me out with editing my videos so I can focus on making content and also helping me illustrate the Skyrim book reading series, which I'm so excited about doing for you guys. Finally, there's loads of cool projects that we're going to be working on together. Having someone else, I think, work with me on YouTube is going to be awesome. And also, you know, lots of live streaming with Fallout 76 and you guys can play with me. And if you guys are sponsoring the channel and you're in the live chat, you'll be the first to get an invite. But without any further ado, let's get into stealing somebody's wife here in Riften. So here we are guys in Riverwood. Now in order to impress my love, I have not shown up empty handed. We've actually gone all the way to Bleakful Barrows and retrieved the golden claw. So she knows that I mean business. So let's head into the Riverwood trader and claim our new wife. Camille, my love. Oh yeah, sit down for this. Hurry up and tell Lucan you have the claw. He'll be so excited. Okay, I'll do that first then. Show those thieves not to steal from Lucan Valerius. I have the golden claw. You found it. <laughs> there it is. Strange. It seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? How dare you, sir? My doctor said that was normal. I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Ah, oh, Camille. Look at you, already cooking my dinner. It means so much to us to have the claw back where it belongs. Thank you. Milady, I am charmed to meet you. Yes, hello. You're quite lovely. Your radiance really does light up the whole store. I'm sure that's nothing to do with the fireplace or my torch or anything else. It's just you. Oh, thank you. I, I'm just amazing at flattery here, guys. I get all the whammon. Camille, I'm working hard to prove myself to you. Please, throw me a bone here. Don't get any ideas. The men here like my attention, and I like theirs. You should speak to Sven. Could you talk to Feindal as well? What? There are other men? I am the only man you need, Camille. I'm I will talk myself. to them. We will see what's going on here on this love... This is more than a love triangle, it is a love square. Resolve Camille's other problems. <laughs> so she will consider my romantic advances. Yes. 
Give her to me. So the first person we need to talk to is Svenny Boy. Let's go inside his house. You lost? Am I lost? No, Sven, I'm here for you. Feindal thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. You and Feindal both like the same girl. Hmm. Camilla Valerius knows I'm the best man in Riverwood. That elf is kidding himself if he thinks she would choose him over me. Look how angry he is. Sneaking over to the Riverwood trader to speak with her when I'm not around. He's wasting his time. Oh, look at that. That frown. Jesus. Yes, two people spending time together never blossoms into courtship. <laughs> is that sarcasm? I've heard better wisecracks from Orgnar. Ah, still you have a point. Camilla letting Feindal visit her isn't a good thing for me. Here, let me give you a particularly venomous letter. Say it's from Feindal. That should get Camilla to stop inviting the elf over. Oh, you naughty boy. Let's have a little read of this letter, hey? Sven's fake letter from Fiendel. Dear Camilla, I know I have called upon you at your house many times, and while we may be growing close, I need you to put any desire you may have for me aside. I am a true-born son of Valenwood, and I could never befoul my bloodline by courting an Imperial. I hope we can remain true friends, provided you understand your people's place in the Outmary Dominion, and you respect me as such. <laughs> what a savage! What an absolute savage. Sincerely. Okay. Look at Sven. Even he can't believe what he's written here. Sorry guys, I have a bit of a cold. I don't know how. It's like right, 38 degrees or something stupid outside. You need to leave. Why do I need to leave? I'm trying to help you. God damn it. Looks like I'm not helping this guy. Jesus. Doesn't like me at all. Oh no. It looks like you've seen that. I'm actually a vampire. Do I have other plans for my wife? Am I just looking for a meal on legs? We will find out soon enough. Who the hell are you? What the bloody hell? Farmer? You have questions. What? <laughs> I do have questions. Where did you go? What? Oh, there she is. You have questions. It's the lusty Argonian maid. She's actually appeared. She's only got like a hood. And it's snowing, and she's like, this is fine. Need something? Oh my god! What's going on here? Oh! The lusty Argonian maid is going to Sven's house. Clearly he is up to no- Oh my god! I thought she was going to get charged off the bloody bridge there. Jesus Christ, what's going on in Skyrim? Are you feeling sick? No, no, I I'm quite well. I just need a new wife so I can suck her blood. You see, Sven actually wanted me to deliver this letter to Camilla, saying it was from you. What is that blowhard up to now? <laughs> so, he thinks he can turn Camilla against me. Two can play at this. Here, give this letter to Camilla and tell her it's from Sven. Let's see what she thinks of him after reading that. No, he's removed my other letter. I don't want her to love Fiendo or Sven. She has to love me. We need to get them both out of the picture. Let me quickly reload, guys. We have not been smart enough. We must think outside of the box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him the letter and then I'm going to see if I can steal it from him. Give this letter to Camilla and tell her it's from Sven. Okay, I'll do that. Sure, 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 sure. Sure thing, bro. I'll help you out. Sneak up behind him. He may have detected me, despite me camouflaging myself in a tree. Oh, okay, so we can pickpocket Sven's letter back. Never should have come. Oh, Jesus Christ! You know when you try and pickpocket someone? Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> That's right. Bow down to me. Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! That may have that may have got out of control. Give me a perk in light fingers. Now I should have a higher chance to actually pickpocket him. Yes, there we go. Now we have both letters. Let's try and break the game by making Camille our wife. Let's go back to the Riverwood Trader. With the information we now have that these two men 
that thought they were worthy of our wife are actually just as bad as each other. I feel no guilt in doing this. Let's read Fiandel's fake letter before we actually do this. My dearest Camilla, I yearn to have you as my own, washing my linens and my fine blonde hair, to cook my dinner from my stove and tend to my house while I wander. Yours truly, Sven. All right, Camille, you're gonna need to sit down for this one. There's a lot to handle here. It means so much to us to have the claw back where it belongs. Thank you. I have a letter from Sven, lie. Another poem, I bet. He does know how to make a girl blush. What's this? If that oaf thinks all I'm going to do is stay in that filthy house of his and clean, I'll... You can tell Sven that he already has a mother. I'm not speaking to him anymore. Savage. And now, we lie and say that we have a letter from Fiandu as well. From Feindal? That's strange. He's never written to me before. What... what is this? Is this what he really thinks about me? Well, you can tell that... that long-eared ass not to come around the store anymore. He's not welcome. Now, everybody is out of the picture. Let's go Let back and going. talk to them before we... You know, we need to let them know that they failed Camille. And we now have her and she is our wife. They need to know their place, you know. What the hell is going on? Why is that? Ah! Ah! Fiondo has sent some kind of mud crab from the woodland realms after me. Jesus. Oh! Who is that? It's hanging on for dear life. Look at it. What is, what is going on here? This is so weird. Who are you? Want to hear a little Nord wisdom? You don't really know a woman till you had a strong drink and a fist fight with her. Bruh. Wow, she is she is my kind of girl. You know what I mean? Well, I think. Good. Chat time's over. I think I have other plans at the moment, but if you guys let me know in the comment section if you want to see another episode. Hmm. Sven, there you are. You're nothing but trouble. <laughs> He's so angry. My time at the Bard's College was brief. A prodigy has little need for formal education. I'm composing a new song. A ballad for Camilla Valerius. Hey, how dare you? What do you mean you're composing a song for my wife? My future wife? Get back here. You can't run away from me. Oh, you think your mother can stand in the way? No, thank you. Oh, you're locked. She literally locked his mum outside of the house. To save himself. Your novice lock will not help you here, sir. You are a dead man. How dare you. How... Oh, there you are, you bastard. Get wrecked. Bow to me, Sven. You are no more. That's right. Look into your future. It is darkness. Okay, I think our work here is done. I think we've sent Sven a very solid message, guy. Now we can head over to our new wife and claim her. Aha, Camille, my love. It means so much to us to have the claw back where it belongs. Thank you. Your beauty has indeed turned many heads in Riverwood. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> now is the time to make a move on Camille. I should charm and woo her. Ooh, Camille. I think you know I'm attracted to you. I think you know. You do know how to turn a girl's head. Hell yes. I feel. I long to feel your body pressed against. <laughs> oh my god, he went from 10 to 6,000 miles an hour. I long to feel your body pressed close to mine, Camille. You definitely know how to make a girl blush. Is that all you can say? You've, you've said that before. I th I'm coming out with all these lines, and you're just like, Oh, you really make me blah. I think you might be attracted to me too. I... I'm not sure. I think perhaps. Wow, you are an unsure girl, aren't you? No wonder you had, like, three men coming after you, couldn't even decide between them. Camille, my desire for you is strong, and I have something to say. Hmm, sure thing. Wow, she just sounds like she doesn't care. I'm confessing my undying love for this woman. She does not care. Pure, honestly, life in Skyrim is short. I need your love, and I want your body. Kind of do, I'm a vampire, so it's kind of accurate, you know. I'm being honest here from the start. 
you know, pure and honest, as I say. It makes sense. Oh my. <laughs> I thought as much. Thank you for telling me the truth. Every jealous idiot keeps making eyes at me. It's exhausting. Camille, what do you need? What I need? Jesus Christ! Did I just get raped? Camille has been chased all her life and never caught. When she gave her affections, which was rare, it was all on her terms. I kind of like massively manipulated the situation, but yeah, I guess. Yet this stranger had ensnared her attention. Yeah, I guess so. Ensnared is a good word. So completely, she could not help but stand still and allow herself to be devoured. Oh my god, it's like they know I'm a vampire. Speak with her a final time. The hell? Look at me when I speak to you, woman. Did you enjoy that? I don't really know what happened, to be honest. I feel like I got violated, but the screen went black. Very much so, yes. I mean, your brother's standing right there. He's just, like, touching himself over that claw. Like, he can't keep his hands off. Look at him. He just can't keep still. He's fidgeting all the time. You can't believe what he's witnessed. So, you have all of these other suitors around. Why me? You're not trying to trick me. Like the others. I appreciate you were honest. That's fair enough. Just thanks. Thanks. See you later. Thanks. Bye. You're a pretty girl in a small town. What are you doing here anyway? I came here from the Imperial Province to work with my brother, Lucan. I'm looking for a better life. Really, from an Imperial Province to one in Civil War? Are you stupid? How is that working out for you? <laughs> the Riverwood Trader isn't the most exciting thing for me. This place is boring. Nothing but the same thing every day. Ugh. But what about you? I have journeys in Skyrim yet unfinished, Camilla. Why don't you just stay with me? We can have a wonderful life together. No. Camilla, I'm an adventurer. He, she was just complaining about being a housewife. Was she, she's such a hypocrite. I don't understand you, but I am an adventurer. I have to admit, I'm disappointed. <sighs> but I understand. Oh, what? No, I'll be back in Riverwood again. I wish I could go with you. <sighs> Here. I have this amulet you could take. I want you to have this. Why are you giving me this? Isn't it obvious? <laughs> so you'd have that memory forever. The two of us. Just don't forget about me. I could never forget about you and that brief rape scene we had in front of your brother. You'll always be welcome here. Don't be a stranger. Camilla necklace added. Wow, a unique item. Have a look at this. Increases your health by 70 points. I will wear it always. I need your touch. I'll make it worth your while. Oh, she's stopping. It's escalating. Oh no, she's she was just joking. She's not actually gonna do anything. I knew you'd come for me. Yes, my love. Wow, Let she's so me. needy now. I oh, could have a wedding at this temple. Yes, if you were ready, of course. Are you familiar with how marriage works in Skyrim? No, Amulet of Mara. There we go. Now we can finally marry Camille. Back to Riverwood we go to claim art. We cannot fast travel because I'm yes. inside. How long have I been playing this game? Oh my god. Rawr. Look at me. I'm an angry orc. Oh look, it's our good friend Sven. You're nothing but trouble. Ah, you got that right. I'd better get going. You better. You know your place now. You Interested in me, are you? Well, yes. Why wouldn't I be? Are you interested in me? No, I am not. Ha 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 ha. No, I'm, I'm kidding. Yes, I am. It's settled then. Brief as life can be in Skyrim, at least we'll have each other. So depressing, isn't it? As brief as life can be. Now, come here. We must travel to Riften to prepare our wedding. Now, I'm sure some of you are wondering why, yes, so are you not marrying Lydia? Well, to be honest, I've tasted Lilia's blood and it is not as good as Camille's. So we have reached the Temple of Maro. We speak of Mara. How to may I you. Help you my I'd like to have a wedding at this temple. You wish to be married? 
It's good to see love blossoming even during these difficult times. Your wedding will be held tomorrow, from dawn until dusk. That's a long ass okay. wedding. You don't want to miss your own wedding. That would be funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> Attend your wedding ceremony. Okay. Oh, everybody's here. Oh my god. My boys have shown up and everything. Congratulations. Who are you? Ah, here's the blushing bride now. Let's begin the ceremony. It was Mara that first gave birth to all of creation and pledged to watch over us as her children. It is from her love of us that we first learned to love one another. It is from this love that we learn that a life lived alone is no life at all. We gather here today under Mara's loving gaze to bear witness to the union of two souls in eternal companionship. Eternal. May they journey forth together in this life and in the next, in prosperity and poverty and in joy and hardship. Do you agree to be bound together in love now and forever? Can I say no? I do. Now and forever. Do you agree to be bound together in love now and forever? Oh my god, stop the wedding! I cannot go through with this! You're just going to walk away from your betrothal? Get out of the temple! Oh god, he is just a savage. Leave. Just leave. He was so angered. Just leave. How could you? Just go. Oh, oh, oh it's so sad. <laughs> well, guys, I have fooled you all. Who did you think I was? Going to marry Camille, this wench. Going after three different men instead of Lydia. How dare you think such a thing? We should all ask for forgiveness from Mara now. In the middle of absolute nowhere, I finally found Camille wandering the wilderness. I can't believe you're speaking to me after what you've done. You broke my heart. Oh, it's so sad. I never loved you anyway. Oh, savage. I can't be that bad. It was a mistake. Can we start over? All right. Just because it's you, we'll try again. Wow. Keeping those ladies on the side. Akar is such a player. We're just right back at it again, guys. She loves me again. Let me know in the comment section if you actually do want me to get married or what you want to see happen next. I'm going to escort my, uh, my wannabe wifey back to Riverwood. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I know it was a long one. I think it was quite a funny one. I love doing videos like this in Skyrim where we just mess about and do things like this. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and check out the sponsorship benefits you can get for supporting the channel and also check out my Patreon as well because there's some other awesome benefits there for you guys to check out too. Thank you very much for watching the ESO and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a fantastic day and goodbye.